Planet of the Apes, the remake, is a 2001 film. It's indeed the remake to the 1968 classic. This film is directed by Tim Burton. And before I get into the movie, I should probably mention the fact that Fox remaking this movie, I'm actually not pissed about it, surprisingly. I mean, it's one of those situations where I saw this remake before I ever saw the original, so that's one. And two, it's been damn near 50 years up until this point when the original came out, so I almost don't blame Fox for saying, look, why not remake this movie and retell this story in a different enough way to a newer audience? I get it. The thing is, though, is this remake worth them going through all that? Well, the plot is we meet Mark Wahlberg, who is a scientist, astronaut type, and that's where I should probably say, what the fuck? Really? Mark Wahlberg as an astronaut? Scientist? I'm trying to think of what's more unbelievable. Walking, talking, Planet of the Apes? Or Mark Wahlberg as this lead character? But anyways, he's doing these tests and experiments with this chimpanzee. And when the chimp goes out into space on its own and there's no protocol to save him, Mark Wahlberg says, all right, he's going to go off and try to save the chimp himself. While doing that, he gets caught into this vortex, time, warp, continuum, whatever. He ends up in the future to a world where apes rule the planet, and he meets a bunch of other survivors, and they just basically try to get off of this planet and get home. Now what I think of Planet of the Apes, the remake, is, you know, I don't hate this movie. I really don't. The thing that I dislike the most about this film, though, is like I said, Mark Wahlberg. Why did we cast Mark Wahlberg as the lead in this movie? I know he's not playing the same character as Charlton Heston in the original, but still he's playing a similar enough character where you just don't buy Marky Mark as this character, as the scientist who's supposed to be smart. And even when he lands on the planet, he doesn't have that emotion or he doesn't evoke that reaction of, holy shit, I'm on a planet with talking fucking apes. What the fuck is going on? No, he doesn't, he, he never really has that reaction. He just kind of looks at them and says, what? No! Okay, maybe it's not that bad, but still, he just doesn't really give me anything. All of the human characters, actually, I don't get much out of them. We have Chris Christopherson, who is a good actor, but he's just sort of wasted in this movie. Estella Warren, she is his daughter, and she at least is set up as a similar character to Nova in the original film, and you think she's going to become the love interest of Mark Wahlberg. But no, not only does she not really do a whole lot, but Mark Wahlberg starts to fall, kind of, for Helena Bottom Carter, who is an ape. Now granted, Helena Bottom Carter good actress. I even really like her in this movie. In fact, she might be my favorite character in this film because she has a lot of character to her. She's an ape who doesn't like the way the humans are being treated. And in fact, she ends up helping Mark Wahlberg against her own kind. So there's a lot to appreciate and like about her character. But there's so many moments of her, Mark Wahlberg, coming so close to kissing. In fact, I think there is even a moment at the end of the film where they do kiss. And I even heard that there was a scene in the original script where the two of them were supposed to have sex. Now, can you fucking imagine if Tim Burton actually did that? The practical effects, the prosthetics, the makeup for these apes are amazing. They're made by Rick Baker, and I, I can't praise the prosthetics enough on these apes. They all look great. And... Even each character has their own distinct look to them, to where that they're instantly recognizable as whoever they're supposed to be. They don't all look alike. I appreciated that. Characters like Paul Giamatti, who, of course, his character is a little 
smarmy and supposed to be annoying, so he played that well. Michael Clark Duncan is just a big ass ape, so he filled that fairly well. And Tim Roth is the general of the apes. He's kind of the leader in command. And he's just pissed off throughout this whole film. He hates humans. He hates everything about them. The plot itself, there's a lot of elements from the original film. So yeah, that's there. But whatever they try to add in, whatever they try to do something different and make it even more science fiction-y, more futuristic, or just more out there, it kind of lost me. And I either didn't care about what was going on, or it was genuinely confusing. And I just was like, what? Like, the ending. The ending, Mark Wahlberg, the chimp that he was working with at the beginning, somehow arrives on this planet, stops everyone from fighting and battling, and saves Mark Wahlberg. And he takes the ship, tries to go back to his home, and then when he goes back to what I think is his current timeline, he sees that the Lincoln Memorial is not the Lincoln Memorial. No, it's a memorial for Tim Roth's character. It's a statue of an ape. And then a bunch of ape police officers arrive and go to arrest him, and I'm just like, huh? I mean, I get that they wanted to match that surprise factor, that twist ending, like in the original movie when Charlton Heston realizes that the Statue of Liberty is right there on the beach and it's been blown up because of a war or a bomb, and it's like, holy crap, he's been on Earth this whole time. Where this twist ending is just, yeah, it's surprising, but more so because you don't understand it. You're like, huh? But all in all, I don't hate this movie. I've seen a lot of people just shit and rant on this film. I don't really have hatred for it. I do, again, like I said, I love the prosthetics. I love some of the acting of the actors that are playing the apes. I think they're the best thing about this film. Mark Wahlberg isn't that great of a lead. I will admit that. He's not an actor that I dislike. I actually like Mark Wahlberg. He's from Boston, so there you go. But there's just some times where he just phones it in. He half-asses it. And this is definitely one of those times. I can see why some people don't like this film. More so in the fact that it's just an okay movie, in my opinion. But compared to the original, which is still a classic, it's like if you're going to remake it, it's got to be better, if not just as good. So the fact that it's mediocre, yeah, you do wonder what was the point of the remake. And not only that, reading on Wikipedia how for years and years, damn near 20 years, they were trying to do a sequel to the original movie called Return of the Planet of the Apes. And that was going to star Arnold Schwarzenegger. Say what you want to say about him as an actor, but he would have been better than Mark Wahlberg. And just thinking of what that would have been like, Arnold Schwarzenegger leading an army to face off against the apes, as crazy as that sounds, I would have loved to have seen that movie so much more. But oh well. Let me know in the comments below what do you think of the remake to Planet of the Apes. Thanks for watching, guys. Like and subscribe. Later!